Welcome to the session. This is Nick, Jess, and Ryan. What's up? I'm Ryan. It's Hello, Ryan. Ryan. Oh, I didn't need all that. I mean, it's just me. But <laughs> So the session is back. We have been trying this for a while and get our schedules together, and, and uh, everyone is busy. It's almost the end of the semester. Jess is so busy, she, she can barely hold her head up today. Um, Nick, Nick, Nick looks fantastic, but I mean, so I don't know what to make of that. Oh, I thank you. You're welcome. I try my best. So with the end of the semester, what are you guys uh, worried about the most? I'd say finals for sure. Yeah, probably uh, getting everything wrapped up before the end of the semester. Not even with like finals, but we compete in esports. We have got if we have like internships or whatever's going on. So tell me a a little bit about esports. We actually are competing again in trios as well as solo. So we've got two competition nights a week from 8 to 11. So competing in what? Fortnite. So we um, we also compete as souls, but we also have another teammate, and we play uh, twice is, a week. Which is what's trios, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we compete in Fortnite, and uh, you basically just place for points, and we do that over like about a eight week period. I think one time during one of our practices, you said you made money. Yeah, we have made money before. Like, Last year, we made like eighty seven bucks a piece. Like real money, like not like cryptocurrency or not even monopoly money. <laughs> really, like, <laughs> real money. That's awesome. So, does that end at the uh, semester then, or what? Uh, East well, or is that going to the next semester too? Spring, we yeah. continue. Um, it it just cycles usually. Um, some some do spring or fall. Typically, it's it's pretty competitive. A lot of teams you play across people like every college with the nation. We play in a league called Play Versus, and you could probably look that up and find all the teams that play. I could, but I probably won't. But yeah, okay. <laughs> so, um, where do you guys rank right now? Well, for solos, we each have a different ranking. Nick okay. here, he's the best so far. Oh, congratulations! He's Nick. he's doing pretty good. Did decent in solos. They had about twelve hundred people playing, oh, wow. and I think I placed maybe like. Like five, four, five, or six hundred place, place. Okay. and um, it just depends week by week. But okay. I'm placing it like around the 40 30 percent of people. And that sounds good to me, I guess. Well, I'm usually typically like a hundred or so below you, yeah. Okay. So, like 40 50, just depends. yeah. So, so not completely horrible. <laughs> I'm doing better than I was last year, that's for sure. <laughs> that's all that really matters, yeah, you, doesn't it? So, let's talk about the elephant in the room finals, yuck. So, what kind of advice can you guys give students? When it comes to finals, uh, for me, it's it's never too early to start studying. I feel like even if it's just reviewing, like, hey, is this going to be, or even asking professors what's going to be on exams or what you're going to have to write in papers, so Will you can they get tell you. That sometimes they do. Sometimes they say, hey, we got to wait until last couple of weeks when finals are up because it's like unfair advantage. I'm like, well, okay. So then, typically, I'll just start going over all the content and. Okay, so be in communication with your professor. Yeah. Okay, Nick, do you have any advice? Oh, I would say my best weeks as a student are usually when I can prepare and plan, plan ahead in terms of like studying, doing work, um, all of that, because when you cram, you don't really absorb anything. And if you have tests or even papers, usually, you know, you can't just do it all in one day. So. so let me ask you guys this. So what is the biggest change that you have seen between being a senior in college and being a senior in high school? Well, for me... There's a lot of examinations that we had to take versus like senior in high school, even like freshman in college. Mm-hmm. We're taking a lot of tests, a lot of like rehearse your knowledge, prove you like know certain topics. And now more it's like project driven. So I'm doing way more projects, maybe a couple papers here and there, but mostly projects, presentations, really no- showing that you know how to apply your knowledge and teach somebody else about certain topics. Cool. Yeah, I'd say you're certainly in the in the footsteps to like be in the driver's seat in terms of your education and workload. Um, I have plenty of 15 page papers I'm always pumping out. Um, I'm also in my MBA classes, so the um, like Jess said with the project and kind of just the application of your degree really comes to fruition. Interesting. So we're gonna have a special side show here in this version of the session. Nick's call He's getting old, to folks, greatness. Ness, 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 Ness. Correct. All right. And any call to greatness, I would like to say, you should strive to become a better version of yourself. Uh, that's the basis of it. But not striving for perfection because that is impossible. But rather for personal excellence. 
Uh, this week, I challenge you to do more, to do more for yourself, find a new hobby, do that home project you've been putting off, find time to refresh from your work and re-energize your mind, body, and spirit. But most importantly, find a way to make personal growth in your life however you possibly can, and it will be within your short-term decisions that will create your future long-term life. This has been Nick's Call to Greatness. This, 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 this. Thank all you, right. Ryan. That was wonderful. I do it again. That was all me. There wasn't any kind of board or electronics involved. That was all me. I don't, I don't like to brag about being great. I was like, oh, but that's actually tied. The reason we have this is because that's actually tied to what you're doing, like one of your minors or concentrations, right? Yeah, for um, leadership. Uh, so they have a minor in leadership in uh, defiance. And I picked that up my sophomore year. I really liked it. It basically... It's not just about leadership, but it breaks down the different styles, the different um, case studies, a lot of different stuff within leadership, examining leaders. Um, and there's so much to leadership that's important for life. Obviously, with good leadership, you have good lives. And um, within that, I've learned all about different pillars of success and what makes a good leader and all that sort. So if, some, if a student out there wants to be in that program, who should they get a hold of? Probably their advisor okay. and... Um, I believe, I know Stuckey, uh, Professor Tom Stuckey teaches a lot. He's a really good, knowledgeable guy. Um, but just your advisor. Uh, you can apply to any major as well, so that's really cool. Whether you're a nursing major, I'm, I'm a business major, uh, whatever you would want. So any major. Yeah, I th- I'd say it's easily one of the perfect minors that fits into a lot of everything. I know like Jess has talked about social work or criminal justice, and you know leadership is everywhere. So it's not like businesses. It is everywhere. You know, that. So uh, is your um, the person who is a part of this show, who is in charge of this uh, show, is he a leader? If you want your job, you know how to answer. Anyway, <laughs> um, so there's some really big news that just came out this week about Thanksgiving. Oh, my god! I will let you two take over and tell us what that is. I am absolutely so excited. So the first uh, two years that Nick and I were here, freshman and sophomore year, every year around Thanksgiving – we had a campus-wide Thanksgiving dinner held over in the CAF, and Holy. there's tons of good food. There was turkey, mashed potatoes, corn, green beans, so many good things, even different kinds of juice. They had what? They had orange juice and cranberry, I think. <laughs> they had. This sounds funny. Even it, different kinds of juice. <laughs> it was the whole nine yards plus another nine. Wow. Um, the, the quality of food is amazing, um, and you also get your faculty and staff to serve it, which there. is really unique. There it is, yeah. Um, and you get plenty of whatever you like. It's not like you get you go in the calf, but rather all the faculty and staff are coming to serve you. They feed you your mash, your gravy, your stuffing. I love stuffing. And it's just it's just food. It's great. It has been a long standing tradition at the college and I think everyone is happy to see it come back. I am I am very excited about it. On our way out, what's your favorite Thanksgiving piece of food? Mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes? I said stuffing, but stuffing, gravy, turkey, and a lot more for sure. A single piece of food. What's your favorite? If you can only get one. That's tough. Stuffing? Yeah. Stuffing? Definitely. Mine would be mashed potatoes as well. Yeah. Nick, get us out of here. All right. It has been Nick, Jess, and Ryan with the session. Have a great day, you all. See See ya. ya.